Hey, what's up guys? Doing a little fishing here. Thought I'd show you my catch of the day. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy here. A little bluegill. I'm trying to get some bass, but I'll have to keep you posted. It's a little afternoon fishing. Usually I do early morning fishing, but I figured I'd change it up a little bit. So I'll get back to you if I catch anything else. Alright guys, brought the camera up on the dock here. Here's that spinner. I gotta be super careful because my camera is not waterproof, so I gotta be sure not to bump into it. Let's uh, see if I can catch something for you here. Now I can see uh, a lot of the fish, you know, jumping. I can hear them. So let's see if I can catch something. It is nice and peaceful out here. Oh, I got a good bite there. You guys hear the splish splash. There are some, some decent sized bass uh, flopping around out here. It is feeding time. You know, getting all the little bugs and stuff off the water. Like I said, just had a pretty decent sized bite, but didn't, uh, didn't hook them. So I'm gonna cast in that same area. Now obviously I'm uh, this isn't a professional fishing show, so you might not see me catch anything at all. <laughs> uh, I did catch a little uh, sunny or bluegill a little earlier today, which I filmed for you. But I'm really, like I said, I'm after the uh, the bass. So maybe I'll get lucky, maybe not. Let me, uh, let me change your angle for you. Just the. There we go. You see that moonlight hitting off the water? Starting to see some of those bats come out. <laughs> if you remember from my last video, uh, local wildlife on the on the bats, they're uh, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, especially you know, I got to be careful doing the, the you know evening and nighttime fishing because those bats like to go for that lure up in the air. You know, they use their uh, sonar and they can't really distinguish that flying in the air from a from a uh, you know a bug or something. Another another decent sized bite. A little nibble. But didn't didn't catch him. I'd say they're definitely active out here though. I can hear them. You know, splashing around, feeding. I got something on my line. Doesn't feel uh, all that big though. Not really putting much much of a struggle up. Oh no, actually now I feel it a little bit. <laughs> it's 
see. There we go. Uh, another uh, another bluegill. Decent size. These guys aren't. They're not small. Let me see that next to my hand here. He's definitely a decent size, but again, you know, I'm trying to look for uh, look for bass here, not uh, not these bluegill. So let me get this guy off the uh, off my line here. In just a second. It's kind of a pain uh, grabbing these guys if you don't know. Make sure you gotta you have to slide back, but when you hold them. You gotta slide your, your hand from the, the top all the way down towards the back, otherwise they're they're you know their uh, uh, gills and or not the gills the um, their fins are kind of you know spined, so they can poke you. So let me try to get this this lure out. The other thing too is I got these tiny little mounts. Could be a pain if you got you know real uh, real big hooks. But. That guy wasn't so bad. So there we go. Nice little bluegill. Put him back. Again, just looking for the, uh, the bass here. So hopefully I can pick one of those up. Let's uh, throw it back out there, see if we can get. Again, getting a little darker here. Not sure how uh, how well you guys can see this, but. Hope you can see something. And this probably is boring if you don't. <laughs> Even if you do fish, this is probably a little bit boring. But again, just hanging out, enjoying the quiet, doing some deep thinking. It's peaceful. That's why I like fishing. I mean, it's fun fishing with a group of guys, you know, your friends or even family. But uh, there's def definitely something to be said about going out and fishing by yourself. Kind of collect your thoughts and. Like I said, it's just real peaceful. Let's see, well now, all I hooked was a bunch of crap, some seaweed or something. Well, not seaweed. <laughs> it's not, not fishing in the ocean here, but you know what I mean, some kind of plant life here. I'll get that off my, my lure. I'm going to do, uh, let's see, I'll do one more cast for you. Then I'll... Uh, kind of cold on a night here because not only are the bats coming out and they're getting kind of close to me but it's getting pretty dark so it's hard for you guys to see what I'm even doing now my <laughs> you give me a second now I got my uh, my line all caught up around my pole Let's see here all right back in business Like I said, this will be my last cast. You know, a couple of people requested that I make a new uh, fishing video, so I figured I would, but I got uh, got out here a little bit later than I wanted to and got dark pretty quick. So uh, I didn't get as much footage as, as I wanted to. But anyway, I thought I'd share it with you guys anyway. And I'll give it one more real quick one. I know as soon as I shut the camera off, I'll get that good, good fish. <laughs> and then no one will believe me. And it is peaceful out here, though. Nice and quiet. And I got nothing. All right. Well, I guess that's it. That concludes my fishing video. I'll, uh, I guess I'll leave you here. I'll zoom in on that, that beautiful moon. Again, it's hard to, you know, obviously you're not going to see it the same as I see it in person, but it's beautiful. Nice and peaceful. So, anyway, thanks for watching. A uh, couple, couple little bluegill, so it still made it fun for me, but I'll have to, you know, keep on fishing if I want to catch that monster to mount on my wall. <laughs> I'm not going to mount a little, uh, little bluegill. So, anyway, thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.